We already know the broken forms in Beastman Mayhem, the Mithrat, and all of the Storm forms, so let's talk about the broken forms in Beastman Hunt. Coming in number 5 would be the Death Wolf. This is because he is able to drain through shields as a big form with 550 health to work with. The fact that they also have a taunt is the crucial part of why this form is amazing in Hunt as well as putting a weakness with a 0 pip spell while doing damage then following up with a 2 pip that is 150 damage. No other form with 150 hits can do that effectively. They also get a shield to protect the mini forms with the taunt. Keep in mind this form only gets good at T3 and T5 for the 2 pip banshee and the elephant drain card. Top 4 would be Storm Rat, but it's crucial that you tier 3 it for it to be good and that you're positioned first in the battle. This is so that you can stun and dispel chain the opponent then follow it up with a Storm Cat. It's still really difficult to play this form though because if you don't pull a stun or a dispel first round then you are dead. It's also difficult to stay alive if the enemy that is still alive is in first position because when you stun them then they get a turn to hit and then you die. But if the opponent that is alive is in second position and you play the form correctly where you get a stun and dispels then this form is very broken and difficult to beat. It's ideal to pair up with a form that can taunt first round or you pair up with a form that is also of a threat such as a storm elf or with a healer so that the enemy focuses on targeting them instead of you. Top 3 is Death Fairy but only at tier 4 and above. This is because she gets her big drain spell which you can just solo a 1v2 fight in both Hunt and Mayhem. You can also steal blades with a trap and if you're rough on health just trap into the zero pip drain. The only way you beat the Death Fairy is if they are casting first so that they can't drain first round. The only move that they can do if they are casting first is to trap or do an overtime which then you kill them first round if both you and your teammate pulls a 200 hit. The reason why I rank this form higher than the death wolf is because it can do a big drain immediately compared to the death wolf which needs to wait around and you can play as a support with a trap which is 100 value for one pip. The wolf form is also quite a popular form which means you're competing against people that want to play a storm wolf or a balance wolf compared to the fairy form which we all know that out of all the fairies the death fairy is the best fairy so you have an easier time getting that form if you want to play the death fairy. Top 2 is a life draconian just because it is not required to tear it up. The afterlife spell is the most broken card that you should be looking for which does a 150 heal for 0 pip. This is extremely broken especially because the Draconian starts with 3 pips and has 475 health to work with meaning many forms cannot kill the Draconian first round and that means you are giving the life Draconian 2 rounds to try to find an afterlife to put on themselves. Then they can infinitely heal themselves or your teammate to stay alive and you obviously lose a battle. They can also do 150 attacks for 2 pips or if you have the form tiered they can use a banshee which when the enemy dies it gives your team a blade. As such this form is insanely good and I play it all the time as a tier 1. If you are playing this form make sure to position yourself second in the battle. If you pair with a form that is also of a threat such as a death fairy, storm elf, myth rat, storm rat, life fairy or forms that can taunt then the chances of your team winning is insanely insanely high. Top 1 is the balance croc simply because you can solo battles if you have an unreliable teammate. I've been playing it at tier 1 forever and the strategy is to samurai the enemy first round to kill them off with your teammate. Then you pip yourself and trap the enemy which gives you a shield to spare yourself some damage. You have 470 health which is the same as a life croc and the reason why I love this form is because you can set up the conditions on your spell yourself without relying on anyone else. Your trap helps you set up your samurai to add an additional 100 trap onto the enemy. If you gave yourself pips 
two samurais will kill the opponent. Keep in mind the additional 100 trap is not protected, so you don't want to use a spider. You have to kill with a samurai. The reason why it's so broken is because you have so much health to work with, meaning you're the last one to be alive. This means if you're in a 3v3, you know that the opponent is not going to attack you because you have such beefy health, which means that you can go for an AoE if you donate yourself pips. Or if you're in a 2v2, then you can just 1v2 the battle if your deck works out because you can give yourself pips and constantly hit and protect yourself with a trap shield. If you are against a storm elf, their health is 325, meaning a 125 trap plus a samurai will kill it if your teammate got stunned. This is why you can solo battles. You can give yourself pips, counter shields, set up your spells yourself, and your health is massive. The only form that I have lost against is a death wolf because they drain through your shield as well as weaknessing you with zero pip attacks, meaning you can't kill them on time because they have 550 health. Tearing up the balance croc is not necessary unless you want an extra card space and an additional samurai. At tier 2, you get a shield, meaning if you give a shield to someone like a life draconian, then you will always win the fight. In Beastman Mayhem, you can solo outside fights if your team is unreliable, unless you're going against a myth that can steal shields and push your trap over, or a death gulcher that can drain through your shield. I definitely think balance croc is top 1 most broken form um it definitely needs a nerf because of all the reasons that i gave uh let me know if you agree with the list and don't forget to leave a like